Well, it's time to sharpen the fucking blade. Holy crap. Hi ho, there you go. A clean and we will go. A clean and we will go. A clean and we will go. Hi ho, there you go. Clean and we will go. Oh shit, grab the seed. I'll go to the tree.
Это все нормально. I have not used this stuff in a while. Oh, come on. I just blown the sidewalk off. Now I got mud all over again. Great. So all we need is another goddamn dog. No, can't hurt.
got the dude here mowing the lawn. They got him over there mowing the lawn. They had me yesterday mowing the lawn. Everybody else is kind of sitting on their lazy ass. It's summertime, folks. Time to get your ass out there and do the yard work. Well, time to get out and do the yard work. trying to do is level this off all the way to this point and I'm going to put all this uh, obviously excess dirt over here because I'm a good uh, appears to be about a three quarters to an inch deep below the uh, pavement here so I'm going to level this off to, to the uh, lawn and then uh, it should be able to migrate these uh, enough of the soil over yeah <coughs> well it should be uh, we'll find out I've got a uh, shingle right here at the top if you can't see it then probably sun's in your eyes but that's starting to lift up so I might have to crawl up there to find out what's going on with that So far, everything's appearing to be all right. I might have to get up here at the uh, vent stack there. Unfortunately, I think it's actually clogged. Every once in a while, I'll have a hard time draining uh, all my sink drains and toilet and everything. I don't think the uh, vent is cleared. So I think I'll have to climb up there and check that out. Get the uh, camera in there and see what's going on. I know if you come out here folks here's the gas line right here this here's the water so imagine a straight line right here all the way in and the water line actually does come in um, just below this meter here so they must actually come in and then go over and then in because right right about here they have a the water meter inside so I'm assuming they intentionally did that I guess uh, looks like I got another damn thing to fix here as well <coughs> the uh, the gas company I guess is supposed to uh, come out and take the uh, gas meter from inside and bring it outside and when they do that I'm gonna take this fence and uh, put it even with the house I'm gonna take it down um, I've got to replace this post here as you see it's uh, being held up um, I've got to replace that and what I want to do is just take this whole thing and just push it back to even with this wall straight across kind of like how my neighbor has his um, right there you see how he's got his fence even with his house I'm gonna try to do the same thing um, but I want to wait until after they move the meter because I don't know where they're gonna move it to and um, so I gotta figure out, you know, where they're gonna move it to, and then this here will be blocked off. This is actually my uh, secondary go-to to be able to get to the backyard, but um, that's all right. It's no big deal there. Um, so I'll have to basically just move this back out, and from there, I should be able to gain another. I'm assuming about, uh, uh, well, let's call it almost three foot, um, about 30 inches or so. Uh, here for the front yard uh, Well folks gotta get back at it All right Let's go ahead and uh, leave. Get some of this uh, cord out of here. I'm starting to st uh, 
step all over here. Alrighty. You know what? Alrighty. Let's see here. Uh, press the release button. Out of the hole! It's got a lot of pull to it. It really likes to dig in. For a little bit, it sure has had a lot of might to it. A lot of strength. It definitely gives a good workout to your arms and upper body to try to control it. some uh, roots, as you can clearly see. This is a whole bunch of roots here. There it is. That's a giant tree root right there. Yep. It goes all the way back. I'm willing to bet it hit the, uh, came off this tree, hit the house, and started to turn and grow back this direction. Yeah, you see, there's a lot of other roots here. This, this house here does not have a basement. It has a very thick, almost, almost two foot uh, cement slab. And I'm willing to bet that it came off at that slab 
because if you see here, it's a very shallow root system in this tree, uh, coming off this tree, this goes off that direction, and then you have this one here going off that direction. So I'm willing to believe that this came off here, straight this direction, and then turned off, as soon as it hit the house, it decided, instead of going under the house, it just turned, came this direction. A damn tree's a pain in the ass. Anyone want firewood, you can come get it, cut it down for free. So we'll go ahead and uh, ignore that and move around it uh, best we can. Quickly, uh, I'll kind of turn that way and eat from this. Uh, I'll come uh, this direction and kind of eat from uh, that direction. Um, geez, I'm getting dirty. It's a windy day, so as I'm tilling <coughs> the soil, <coughs> I'm not only getting a face full of dirt, but <coughs> I'm starting to breathe it in. I'm getting dirty, dusty. You see, now he's got the right idea. He's doing the same thing that I do. Clean up around the curb. Clean up around your yard. And <clears throat> a lot of people don't know. I'll, I'll show you. I'll wait until his car leaves. A lot of people don't know, but all this uh, leaf debris that's piled up along the gutters here, that can get you a $1,500 fine in the city. Lincoln uh, has a law that says that every uh, homeowner and tenant uh, in Lincoln has to keep their their street um, clean. In other words, imagine uh, an invisible line coming off your property line up to about middle of the street, like right about here, and then all of this uh, part of the street right here, all the way over to your other uh, property line, for me that would be uh, right about here, all of this you have to keep clean. Okay, and which is strange because they have street cleaners. They have, they have the street cleaning machines and all that kind of stuff. But between each cleaning that they do, you have to keep them clean. If you don't, they can send you a fifteen hundred dollar fine. <coughs> yeah, the first the first year that I moved in here, that's exactly what they did. They turn yeah they turn around and sent me a damn fine, and I, I <coughs> yeah I turned around and protested it, saying that I didn't know. They said, well that's not an excuse. <laughs> The judge said, you got to pay. <laughs> so, it, yeah, just because you don't know the, what the law is, supposedly that's not a good enough excuse. I try, I try to tell everyone around here that uh, you got to keep your streets clean, but they, as you clearly see, they don't. My uh, neighbor, not this house, but the uh, house over here, the little blue one, they actually own this house as well. <coughs> um, well, they try to keep their yard and street clean. Uh, I'm all the time seeing uh, her out there, you know, cleaning up and all that kind of stuff. Um, but this tenant here, he refuses to clean. <coughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, here comes the wind. Oh, that's a good way to get your ass whooped. Send the flag out. All right, folks. 
folks. I've been procrastinating too long. Uh, I'm old, folks. Shit. I should be a supervisor standing back with a sh shovel hand on my hand like this and just watch. <laughs> That's how it's supposed to go. But unfortunately, I'm not from Nebraska, so I don't know too many people in this town, so I have to come over and do the work for me. <laughs> Go ahead and rake this out, flat and smooth. Make sure I don't. A lot of people ask me all the time, you know, <coughs> if I if I don't know too many people in this, you know, this state, why do I have all my cameras here, or all my uh, uh, signs and, and stuff? And, and I put this stuff up not to bar anyone else from the property. I put it up because I have one little twit that goes on TikTok all the goddamn time, and she'll walk up and down the street damaging people's property. Uh, last summer, I'm sure uh, I'm sure you guys uh, remember uh, the video I, I posted where a little red-haired uh, gal kind of had her phone up. Uh, if you remember, go back in the archives of the videos, and she was filming herself pounding on my windows, and uh, you know she was kicking the doors and whatnot, throwing stuff around, and well, the windows got busted. Uh, yeah, she busted this window, this window, and the window on my uh, storm door. And I, try, I called the police, they said, well, you don't have any uh, private property and no trespassing signs. So, her, her word against mine that she was here unlawfully and, uh, and that uh, they can't really do much about it then. It's, it would be more of a civil matter. So, now I have all my signs up to say, hey, if you were not asked to be here, you do something unlawfully, then I'm going to hold your ass accountable, basically. So... <coughs> So yeah, it's not to you know, you know, push people away. It's the fact that it cover my ass, so I don't have to keep you know paying for all the broken stuff that that one little twit is doing. She owes me close to five grand worth of repairs. Uh, this window alone, right here, that one was almost nine hundred dollars because all these windows are all uh, uh, special size. You can't just go out and get this window off the shelf. I, I literally had to uh, order that one. Um, from the uh, uh, manufacturer because it was an off size so uh, that was about 900 freaking dollars and with all the damage that she has done <coughs> if you remember the first year that I moved in here I had to buy a new grill well the old grill that I had she turned around and took a freaking hammer she literally carried a hammer here just to destroy my property uh, <laughs> yeah well I haven't seen her since I caught up you guys remember I chased her ass down and caught her at the, uh, in the uh, yard of the corner property there, uh, was it last year I think it was, I caught, uh, I chased her ass down and told her to leave my fucking home alone and pay up, uh, yeah, well, so that's why I actually have all my signs, it's not to, you know, scare everybody else, you know, stay away, you know, it's, so that way if someone does do, do something to my property, you know, unlawfully, then I can hold them accountable and call the damn authorities and have their ass charged with destruction of private property. Uh, I think what it is is being she was a high school kid that um, I truly believe she was just, the police were just kind of trying to, uh, you know, uh, uh, covering for her, you know, saying, oh, she's just a kid doing, you know, stupid things, you know, kind of mentality. At first, I, you know, I didn't think nothing of it. I thought the same thing. But the more she did it, it was about once a week. She'd show back up to these properties around here and she'd destroy shit. And I just got tired of it. I'm not freaking rich, folks. I know I make money off my website, but I don't make half as much money as people on YouTube or, or, or any other website. <coughs> you know, I don't have big corporate sponsors paying me, you know, millions of dollars to run my mouth. <coughs> so when I have to pay for shit, it, it, it hurts, you know. My insurance company actually wouldn't cover the cost. Wow, that's a big-ass dip inside that car. 
I mean, you know, I literally have to pay. You know, I got to pay out my ass for that. And insurance, like I said, insurance will not cover dumbassery. You know, it's, which is kind of strange because I pay for the uh, vandalism coverage. You would think that would have been covered under it, but no. Insurance company decided they wanted to pull out every damn nook and cranny rule and make sure that they weren't held accountable for it. So it makes me wonder why the fuck am I even? <laughs> you know, why am I paying for the insurance? So now I know, right? Um, well, I'm almost done. So, but yeah, I just want to, people ask me on my on the website that you know why I have all these signs, and that's why. So I just wanted to clarify that. I just I happened to see the sign there in the kitchen window, and it reminded me that you guys were all starting to ask, you know, if I if I'm new, fairly new to Nebraska, why am I kind of shunning people with my signs? And I'm not trying to shun people. It's just one of those deals that, uh, like I said, it's just to cover me when it's a. Uh, um, uh, when someone da damages my property, this way I can make them pay versus me. It's it's all about uh, accountability. <coughs> but at the end of the day, it is what it is. You know, you know what I mean. I don't think this is all level, dude. <laughs> I'm seeing a little brick down there and none there. I was trying to go with that brick line, right? right here this little brick line there but as you see I've got a lot of dips and highs there so I gotta start all over oh crap I got roots I'll backfill this up more damn roots Zen garden, folks, but on life size. All right, well, I got it. it's not one hundred percent perfect. But it's a little bit more straighter, except for right here, but that's all right. It's not too high. All right, all right, all right. Damn, sinuses are killing me today. It's what's, uh, the problem, folks, is uh, when you suffer allergies and you got to do all of this allergy-inducing yard work, it tends to... Uh, kind of stuff up your sinuses and make it hard for you to breathe. You know, if I'd just been down and grabbed the cord, it'd probably been easier. That was the uh, neighbor um, at that blue house that I was telling you about that uh, they try to, you know, keep their uh, area of the street clean and all that. Oh, I heard a weird noise. This neighbor's a loud vehicle. I don't think it has a uh, uh, exhaust on it. You'll hear it in a bit. You know, I thought about coming out and doing the same thing around the, the uh, tree, kind of draw like a straight line around the tree, and kind of go, you know, put something, you know, maybe some flowers or something decorative around the tree. Instead of having all these uh, weird bare spots, you know, between the, uh, around the trunk uh, flares. See what I mean, folks? It's a loud piecer. The guy just will not get an exhaust.
the roof. I'm going to try to chop it off. It's not that thick like the other one. Over the winter, I'd actually sharpened the uh, tines on my uh, cultivator, so it would actually be able to cut through some of the smaller stuff um, with a little bit more ease. Another loop. Okay. Let's get her out of here, out of the hole. We're uh, 10 amp. You know, this earthwise right there, it's been uh, pretty good to me. Now that I say that, it'll probably give out on me. But you see, all the uh, tines here are uh, well coated in roots. Um, it's all right, it's uh, simple. This uh, little pin comes out right there just like that, and they slide off. Um, no crap, it spun on me. Uh, there we go, and it just locks on. No big deal, right there, you know. Um, what the heck am I hearing? That's a loud whatever it is. But uh, for a 10 amp motor, I mean, that's no, that motor's no bigger than a, uh, well, vacuum. I mean, if you go out to, uh, say, Menard, uh, not Menards, uh, uh, Walmart or, you know, whatever, or Target, and buy a new vacuum for your house, they come 10, 12, you know, 15 amp vacuums. Uh, you know, so uh, <clears throat> that's, that's basically that, that kind of level of strength. Um, so it, it hasn't really done all that bad of a, a job. The downside is I can't get a good deep till. Um, it's only a, a six inch blade uh, uh, tines, so the most I can get is about 10 to 12 inch. Um, I wish it was a little bit larger tine so I could get a little deeper till. But other than that, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been a bit champ. It's done everything I needed it to do so far. Um, well, a lot of people. Uh, you know, they'll go out and buy these really big machines, gas-powered. Now, I'm okay with people having gas-powered. You know, I'm not going to lie, if I could afford it, I would have a gas-powered. Um, that's literally why I actually have the electric, is this was about 200 I believe, like $210, $230, versus a gas-powered, which was like $1,500. You know, um, so I looked at it and thought, I could probably do just what I needed uh, to do around the uh, yard. Um, and sure enough, that's all I needed. Um... Whereas the big machines, for the average person, unless you're going to like till over your whole lawn, you know, the, those big machines for a personal use is pointless. Um, usually those are for like businesses, you know, landscapers um, or someone that takes their whole backyard and turns it into a vegetable garden every year. You know, then you want something big and massive like that. Otherwise, dude, you are, you're, you're just not going to use it enough to justify buying a big machine like that. Um... Now they do have, <coughs> excuse me, the, my allergies are kicking my butt today. Um, they do have gas powered tilling machines that are about this size and they actually do pretty good. Downside is they're pretty loud. Um, so it's a almost pointless to even have those because the, I actually had one um, that was about uh, $200 more than what this one was. And I had, I had bought that one first and found that it really didn't do what I needed it to do. Um, it was more of a scuffling of the topsoil, you know, just scuff it up. Um, and for the amount of noise that it produced was just, just off the charts. It was basically a weed trimmer motor on a, a cultivator body, you know. And if you don't know what a weed trimmer sounds like, then maybe you should go buy a gas-powered weed trimmer, and then you'll know how loud that thing is. Um, for the amount of noise that it produces, um... It really doesn't justify the the money as well as what it actually uh, what it actually uh, does. It really doesn't do a deep till like what this one does. This one does a deep till, but not as deep as I'd want it. Um, I want it to actually be a lot more, um, about double what what I'm getting. Um, but I'm not willing to spend you know thousands of dollars just to turn over soil. No, I just put that over the damn cement. That was a <laughs> that was a dumb thing. <laughs> now I should. I'm actually 
actually going to have more soil than I am. So I think what I'll do is I'll kind of pile it up at this end here. Due to the fact that um, this uh, end of the uh, gutter here, it actually leaks right off these little seams here. I don't know if you can see it, but I put a lot of caulking in there on both sides, inside as well as outside, and it still leaks. I've rebuilt this whole corner you know, half a dozen times, and it just will not stop leaking. Um, I've, if you look, I've got videos of me, well, doing just that, rebuilding that all the gutter systems on this house several times, and they just will not stop leaking for some reason. I don't know why, but... You know what? I think clearly I've got a lot of soil here, so I'll move my core out of the way, and I'll just bring it... Oh, crap. There we go. I'll bring the soil over to the... Uh, over to this side here. Then... I was gonna, I was gonna kind of build it up and allow the water to run down in the yard, but nah, I'm not gonna try that. I'll just, I've got a lot of soil here. Oh, there's a battery. I don't know. I've never bought that brand before, so that's probably there before I move here. Jeez, this, this whole area along here is making a wind tunnel. The wind is coming through and just blowing soil right into my face here. I can only imagine what the camera's starting to look like now. A giant dust pocket, I guess. I don't know. right there. This is not going good. I am not a lefty. <laughs> yeah, I think it's good enough, don't you? It's 
not perfect. It's not a pro man job, but I think it's good enough for an average joke. Uh, I am getting dirty as all get out, folks. If you saw my clothes right now, you'd think I was a hobo. Uh, So I'll come back here and blow it. Damn. I should have thought about that. I'm literally getting my electric cord. Disgusting. I'm going to wrap that up first. Y'all probably thinking, why not just use the blower to blow the dirt off? You know, I thought about it, but I'm going to use the hose anyways to uh, kind of water in the soil. Um, to kind of pack it down, so I figured why go through all the work with the leaf blower. Well, I was just going to get the hose out anyways. and cold against my leg here. Damn. Ouch. Well. Damn, bug.
you think, folks? I guess. It's better than, uh, well, it could be, I guess. Alrighty. Now, shut this out so I can wrap it back up. <laughs> Spin, spin, spin a wind, spin a spin a wind. Oh my gosh, Beckett, look at his clothes. It looks like one of those hobos from Los Angeles. Good enough. It'll get done, I promise. I don't know when, but it'll get done. <laughs> see what it looks like at curb appeal. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it looks a lot better at curb appeal now. Oh jeez. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. <coughs> so, now all I gotta do is get some mulch. Um, that should be the next uh, nice day. Um, I've got the... Uh, I don't know if you guys can even hear me with this wind blowing so hard right now. I've got uh, some branches out there. Um, they keep falling off the trees and everything. So I've got a, a wood chipper that uh, about every once a year or so I'll go through that pile and put some wood chips down. Uh, in front of the fence, all I do there is I just pretty much just pile up the uh, uh, grass clippings from out here. And uh, so, yeah. So, yeah, that's it. Um, it looks like it's uh, got decent curb appeal. Um, sidewalk, uh, one of these days, um, you see right here, it's uh, up here, and it's been cracked here, but it's kind of uneven. And then down here, it's lower. So, eventually, I'll come out here and kind of lift everything up and straighten everything. Um, it's not too bad. The only crack is right here. So, and that's a fairly clean crack. So. I think, uh, uh, you know, I think a person could actually just level it off. It's all level all the way up until, well, right about here. And then from there on, it's just, it just needs an adjustment. Maybe uh, some dirt stuffed under it or something to kind of prop it up more straighter. Um, but that's where I'm at now. Um, 